okay uh, okay we'll start now yeah. so yeah in the last class like uh, we connected two text files right text yeah. files and the csv files also can connect uh, okay let us see one more csv file how to connect one more csv file uh, there is an s drive so in this s drive um, uh, there is eg codes and these are the csv files eruptions is there let's open this yeah so this is a file eruptions so this is character data and these two are numeric and uh, date format okay and this is also numeric and we have two missing values also in this three missing values so we should import this import means like we have to define the location of this file in our metadata okay then do the same way go to the ds studio external files new external files it's a delimited because it's a csv file uh, then give some name so what is the file name you can give the same name or you can give a different name also uh, eruptions then browse uh, here select the csv format eruptions go to the next then here it is a comma separated then uh, next refresh it's having the variable names in the first row then import get the column names from the column headings in the file we got it but automatically uh, it's taking these as a character variables so we have to define so it's a start date and end date so these two are numeric so change this to numeric and start date end date should be 88 the length should be 8 and vei also it's numeric so change it to the numeric so whenever it is numeric you just change it to the 8 only and here the volcano also it is more than seven by default it has taken seven uh, you can see three three six seven eight ten ten eleven twelve thirteen okay or else you can define more length also no problem so i'm defining it as some 20. then we coming to the format in format how it is it is uh, day i mean it's a month right month day and year so in format month day here and it is uh, four five six seven eight nine ten ten dot ten dot so it's a in format then end it also in the same in format then how do you want to format it so while reading i want to read like a date nine format so use the date nine format then date nine format or else you can use the same format no problem and go to the next finish now we have the eruptions open it as a table yeah so this is the output two missing values are there and uh, this one also missing and in the output you can see the date format 28 december 1795 so there is no any length issue so it got uh, like defined properly and you can see the metadata information also here just simply right click go to the properties you can find the metadata details like file location where it is which server mm -hmm. so you can use the application server or metadata server application i mean metadata server anyway it's a part of the application server only then access method so default file system we used okay we have not connected from any other uh, sources if so you have to use this ftp or urls then file parameters it's a comma separated only then columns these are the columns then parameters no any parameters to define or else if you want you can define i mean if needed so no notes no extended attributes then authorization so we are uh, like uh, importing or uh, we are defining the metadata with this name only ahmed so ahmed is having all the permission read write and check informations okay so this is how to, we should check the properties of a uh, table or external file. Okay. 
now how to connect to the data sets the second one text files csv files we connected later data sets for data sets just defining the library is enough defining the library is enough so how to define a library means to define a library these things uh, will be maintained in base as usual what we use will be using only library reference but in da studio we should give a library name also library name then library reference and the path as well as the table should to be registered okay so i am defining a library now first of all go to the libraries see we kept all the external file in this location only okay we classified then coming to the libraries right click new library new library then to which uh, data type you are connecting you are connecting to the sas data sets so select the sas base library because you can connect to different types of uh, data uh, i mean different types of data types like uh, db2 unique uh, excel mysql odbc oled oracle sybase teradata sap and uh, recently as this is older version you cannot find the hadoop and uh, the other things right but in the recent version you can find a lot of uh, data sources here okay so first i am just connecting only to the data sets so click here and go to the next define a library so i am defining this as some source library source library and to name this library you can use the spaces also in between okay it's not mandatory but you can use spaces okay and uh, there is no any length limitation you can give a big name also no problem then go to the name then we use application server or metadata server no problem then go to the next here give the library reference what is the library reference it is same as in the bases it should be less than 8 characters right so i am using this as some source okay no space uh, if you want to add a space then use the underscore then anyway we are connecting to the bases and where those files are located give the path specification so where the files are located so i want to define these data sets so the path is s drive eg codes so give the uh, path here browse and select the path okay so this is the path then go to the next finish so this is the source library so we just define the library that's it we have we haven't uh, <coughs> like uh, registered any tables now in the metadata we just define the a library that's it okay now if you want to register the tables using this library now don't use this library go to the tables source right source tables okay source tables i want to keep all the source tables here after registration from this library so go to the source tables right click then you want to register uh, the tables new tables right so new table okay then uh, okay here we are creating a new table right instead of uh, creating the new table you have to register the existing tables okay. so go to the right click and uh, yeah register tables so from where these are the sas tables we want to register next now here it will show the existing libraries already some libraries are there but this one we created what is that source library then check the library reference engine path the one which i have given so the path is s drive eg codes we remember and this is a base as engine library reference is source and source library is the library name okay then go to the next then it will show all the existing tables in that location okay then you select the tables whatever you want to register so i am selecting a demographic table okay a one adsl and bookings multiple also you can select or you can select a single table also some headache then portland uh, seattle then shoes uh, tours valconos so i selected few tables then click on next so this is the metadata you can you can check it once where these tables got uh, defined in this location users ahmed 
my folder this one sales project then source table these are the tables you are defining as a source click on finish so it's writing it is registering all the tables so these are all the tables registered adsl bookings demographic headache portland like this okay so you can register the tables once you register the table then you can view the data simply right click and open it you can view the table information on the data present in the tables so this is called the registering the tables okay registering the sas data sets how you registered these sas data sets just we created one library that's it library means we have to define the library engine what's the library engine this is nothing but the basis engine right what's the library engine it's a base engine we call it as a uh, base engine or sas engine okay so we register some tables so this registration can also be done by an administrator uh, actually when you open the management console here also we have that option to register the tables sometimes you know uh, the administrator will register the tables okay and will or they will register the database okay then Uh, they will assign the work to you you need not to defend the source again because already tables will get registered in the management console then we have to use them that's it uh, okay we here we connected with the sales metadata click on okay then in the management console mm, yeah and uh, data library main it right so these are the libraries you can see the source library is already defined and these tables are registered we can see here the work okay, because we connected with the same uh, sales metadata uh, repository right so uh, you can view here okay if you want to even register some more tables also you can even do from here also go to the uh, uh, i mean library register tables then which table you want to register you select one more table okay like uh, bus then click on next bus so you have to define the location so it is showing in shared data shared data but you can uh, browse and you can keep in the appropriate location uh, where you want to keep this one my folder sales project and the source tables i want to keep in the same location then next finish so we registered from here also okay so registration we can do it uh, by uh, i mean by defining the libraries here in enterprise guide also you can register management console also you can register in the ds studio also you can register okay even in olap cube also you can register the tables okay registration can be done from uh, different uh, client tiers okay now so yeah you just we register the sas data sets that's it Now, if you want to view, you can view uh, the metadata also. Like how many columns are there? Is there any index present? Or if you want to define any index to, uh, I mean, this table, okay. then keys. If you want to define any primary key, foreign keys, or unique keys, so we have not defined any keys here. Then parameters. What is the physical storage? The physical storage means it's in the source library. Source library means we know where it uh, defined the location, path, and everything it will be. Okay, the path, which server. Okay, so this is the physical location. So it will give the location of the file, and then notes, operations, and other things there. So this is the registering such data sets. Now, mm, let us register the other data sources. Let's connect to the Excel. So except, so we have done this one: text files, data sets. then remaining all will be considered as a databases only x you take the access x i mean excel oracle xml mysql teradata hadoop whatever it may be so all these remaining data sources will be considered as a i mean the databases only okay so how to connect to different databases so there is one document okay uh, database connectivity or database administration we call it as a uh, database administration 
stash database administrator so uh, stash data administration sorry administration this one sas 9.4 intelligence platform data administration guide so you can download this one so what is the advantage of this from this documentation so it will help you to connect uh, i mean how to connect to any database okay in the desktop i have a folder sas course notes so sas uh, data admin so for example i want to connect to oracle now it will show connectivity to uh, xml cloud analytics service hadoop what do we see oracle database just click here it will show how to register the sql i mean oracle database how to connect to the oracle so we have a sas da studio anyway you know this workspace server oracle client sas application server will help you to connect to the oracle okay and then after connecting to the oracle just uh, define the location the path and everything about this oracle and the schema also okay so how to connect to the oracle we have all the prerequisites then how to register the oracle server then how to register the tables from the register the oracle library that's it then we have uh, other database a pa system server like this so it is having the this admin guide will guide you i mean if you are planning to connect to any other database because here i cannot show you everything right because we have limited resources in this one as this is the virtual mission uh, i have only access to excel i will show the excel access i will show oracle i will show because oracle also installed in my system xml also i can show okay so if you have any other databases loader loaded okay, in our system then easily you can connect it it's not a big problem you can do it very easily okay because uh, uh, you know the screenshots are there okay so based on the screenshot you can do it it's not a problem because once you connect to one or two databases then remaining also you feel very comfortable only okay so this is very important part okay. now uh, yeah let's connect to the excel first we'll connect to the excel okay defining the excel so as i told you the excel also it's a uh, database only so here if it is other than the sas data sets then we have to define the library engine as well as the database server so we have to define two things what are the two things see for example i am defining the data from the excel so first you define a library name then library reference these two for the library creation and then database server we have to create the database server okay for library we need this one also right 